Hello beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This one is for you and your person, whatever that means to you. Situation trip, relationship, bumble date, marriage. And this is a general reading, so just bear that in mind. Uh, whatever resonates for you, take it. And what doesn't, just get rid of it. And this is a timeless reading, so basically when this reading finds you, it's meant for you as long as it resonates. And it's valid for the next three days, three hours, three weeks. Not much longer than that. Uh, from the time that you watch the video, of course. Sagittarius, what else can I tell you? This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There you have a lot of Sagittarius in your chart. And of course, Sagittarius, if you vibe with my channel, you like my videos, you know what to do. Comment below, like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, it all helps me out no end as a new uh, small creator on YouTube. I value all of your support if you've already subscribed. If you're watching my videos, thank you so much. I'm so, so grateful, Sagittarius. And uh, if you don't want to subscribe, it's still okay. I'll still love you. But if you already have, I love you so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, also, Sagittarius, if you'd like to get a private reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. I'm also going live. I'm going to do my first live on the 25th of December. Uh, we're going to do a kind of anti-Christmas vibe situation for all my Grinch gang out there. Um, it doesn't mean you have to hate Christmas, and it's not just for people who celebrate Christmas, but it's just going to be uh, free readings for anyone who's kind of out there. Um, maybe you don't spend time with your family for that day. Maybe you don't celebrate that day. Maybe there's just so much pressure on people, I feel, to kind of put up a perfect front. And not everyone has family. Not everyone wants to be with family. Not everyone has healthy family. So if you want to just spend some uh, nice time, get a free tarot reading, ask me a question, hang out, unwrap presents together, uh, whatever. Uh, join me. We'll just have a nice, easy time. See what happens. Uh, so yeah, feel free, Sagittarius. Uh, oh, someone's confusing you. Okay, you're confused. That's why you're watching this video. An ending. You're confused about an ending. Is it really over? Is it not over? Let's see. Let's see. If it's, ooh. ooh, the emperor. Yeah, you feel out of control. You feel like this other person is always in control. Like they have the upper hand. Let's see. Show me angels what happened uh, between Sagittarius and their person. What's happening between them? What happened in the recent past to make the situation so? Ooh, a lot of aggression, a lot of anger. Yeah. You crave a calmer time with this person and this connection. You feel like it was a lot of fighting, a lot of fighting. A lot of fighting went on here. And it, was, it could have been over nothing too. It could have been a kind of childish, childish fighting. Uh, you wanted more harmony in this connection. You didn't get it. Also, that was your card, Temperance Sagittarius. That was you. Yeah, you'd like to receive a, a message, a calmer message, a nicer message, a kinder message. Yeah, disappointment. Disappoint. Great disappointment in this situation. If it's a new connection, bimbo, himbo from Tinder, you got the Five of Cups, you got the Page of Pentacles here. You were disappointed by the communication in this relationship. If it was new, it was just someone who wasn't, you know, they were just playing games, didn't text you back kind of thing, ghosted you, that kind of th that kind of a thing. They made you feel, um, they didn't make, this did not make you feel good. Eight of Swords, they made you overthink the situation, they played games, they kind of put you in a prison in your own mind. This is someone who likes the control that came up as we were shuffling, you know? Just like someone who likes to cause a bit of a drama, likes the push and pull, likes the game. Game player, game player, that's why you're confused. You're always confused by this person. They go hot and cold, hot and cold. Hot and cold. If it's a more established connection, something came to pass between you as well here. What was what is this message about? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, ending. But you carry you carry a burden here. This person is burdensome. You didn't know what to think. For a long time, you didn't know what to think in this connection. If it's more established, you know, if it's an older connection, if it's not so new, if you're already living together, if you're already, you know, calling each other, like, partners, something like that, this person gave you, a this person caused you a lot of disappointment. 
because of their communication style and I do feel this already yeah I do see that if it was a more established connection look five of wands again a lot of conflict here a lot of fighting over nothing but I do feel also that for a lot for, for if it was a more established connection you already were you know in a late like put on, put a label on a kind of situation you saw a message saw a message on their phone could have seen a message on their phone on their computer like you just saw something a message you found out something through a message by seeing a message maybe someone sent you a message about it that this person was talking to other people they were unfaithful like yeah it doesn't mean that they had like a rabbit affair with someone out there but like they were unfaithful they were talking talking to other people uh the tower like your whole world was turned upside down when you saw this message or when you found out this about this person's um, messaging habits and for a long time maybe for a long time you had the signs maybe you saw a message a long time ago you didn't want to believe it but it just kept coming up and finally you couldn't deny it any longer but if it's a new connection, it was like, you know, they just it didn't text, text didn't text you back, ghosted a lot. It was that kind of a dynamic. They wanted to be chased, do the chase, do the game kind of thing. You were just like, I can't do this. This is so disappointing. This is so, you know, I'm better than that. I'm Sagittarius. I'm sassy. I'm classy. You know what I mean? I don't play, Sagittarius even play these games. How silly. Please show me feelings. Thank you, Angel. In action. <laughs> yeah, this is such a predictable, predictable person is your person, is what I'm going to tell you. Yeah, they feel really burdened by this. Ten of Wands. Uh, in terms of their feelings, they're burdened by the guilt they feel. Because they feel like they shouldn't have either, like, you know, if it's a new connection, they shouldn't have ghosted. And they feel like they definitely shouldn't have been talking to other people they do feel a lot of guilt they feel alone they feel like you just you're not gonna listen to them the queen of pentacles very interesting they feel like you're not gonna listen to them they feel like um they feel like you should carry the burden together with them too they feel like you know uh it's like a little childish hair this ton of wands your person feels like well, yeah, but I was texting other people because Sagittarius didn't give me the attention, you know? Like, they're going to try and blame you in their own feelings because it makes them feel better about the situation. But they also don't want to let it go. They're ready to take the the brunt of the, you know, the punishment and all that. The, they did the crime. They're ready to do the time, actually. And you got the Queen of Pentacles here. Disregard the gender. It's arbitrary. It's only energies uh, clarifying this. This is someone who doesn't want to let go of this pentacle. This is someone who wants to remain in the family dynamic, wants to re remain in the relationship. This is someone who doesn't let things go lightly. Someone, and again, you know, it all started with this pentacle, this little message. And this is also a message here that she's holding here. Uh, she, he, they, anyone in between, right? Um, you know, this person is holding on to this. Uh, they're willing to take responsibility for the messages they were sending outside of the dynamic with you, outside of this love. They know that what they did was wrong. There was a kind of crime against love, crime against um, sanctity of a relationship, marriage, partnership, love, you know, whatever your connection was. And interesting, you know, divine counterpart, king of pentacles, again, disregard the gender, but this is you, your feelings, you know. Um, you, you're still looking at this pentacle, looking at this relationship, looking, you're not willing to, to forgive or forget the situation with the with this person mustering other people, talking to other people. But you're also not willing to let go of the relationship. You feel like there's a lot going on between you that could be valuable, that could be amazing. Uh, in this established relationship, you don't want to let go of the past you have together because you have a good thing going on. <clears throat> and if it's a new connection and this person ghosted because uh, it, it wasn't about talking to other people, it was just like their communication style was iffy and they were trying to play a game. You're both willing to kind of like, this person is willing to kind of come back in. They're not sure how you're going to react. Because they want to communicate with you again. They want to, you know, it's just like that kind of situation. You had a power struggle over who's going to text first. And it's just like went on and on too long. But you're both, you're both waiting for each other to text. Because you both still have feelings. Um, what this person wants more than anything is a new beginning. Ace of Cups. They want to offer you their love. 
they're hoping you still have love for them they're hoping you're still going to accept it and you still have your hand is still uh is still free your hand is still open to them to their heart the heart one here for you you know you want to take the traditional route you want to find out what happened here you want this person to kneel before you and tell you exactly what happened and you're willing to make a just decision but you're not going to make your decision too uh too frivolously you know you you're not sure if you're going to forgive them but you're definitely going to think about it and you need this person to really kind of bow down before you to make this happen kind of thing this person is going to be doing a lot of spying uh, their next action towards you is spying, spying, spying. They want to find out, and also communication, but they want to find out before they communicate with you if it's safe to do so. I do see five of pentacles here for you, though. Um, you might abandon and walk away from this situation because what this person has to give you may not be enough. Uh, let's clarify the situation. You have the magician at the bottom of the deck, though. Excuse me, Sagittarius. Um, so it, it is someone. Someone is going to come in manifesting this heavily manifesting this reunion quite heavily please tell me angels more more about this page of pentacles you may be just totally over it ah eight of cups yeah this person may be spying and spying and spying and wondering how to broach the issue until they can spy no more and they're just going to walk away because they're not going to think that they have a chance with you interesting why this person feels like they effed it up too much. Yeah, but see, long-term prospect is the sun. Long-term prospect, the sun. Like, this, there's a future here for you. And maybe that in the immediate future, this person will just be going around the houses. And you will abandon this connection thinking that it can't work out. But actually, this person is going to come back around quite possibly in the summer. Be careful for some of you, if you're unattached, you're having an affair with a himbo bimbo, uh, that you don't get pregnant. I don't get pregnancy messages a lot, but this one is kind of coming through quite clear. So it might be something, you know, if you don't want to be pregnant, you might get pregnant. And this person will come back around because they're going to find out that you're pregnant. If you're someone who gets pregnant. King of Wands, yeah, fiery energy, Sagittarius. Are you dealing with someone fiery like yourself? King of Wands. A lot of passion. Pa this passion will not be extinguished. But I feel maybe in the um in the next Yeah, I feel like in the next few weeks, uh this person is gonna keep on spying on you, but they're not gonna be showing you uh a lot yet. But maybe, maybe within the next in the next coming months this person this person this isn't over this person is coming back in for sure with the sun here they're gonna come back in and the king of wands but this is someone this king of wands is someone who's biding their time not knowing what move to make but when they make it you're really gonna know what is the advice for sagittarius here please Ugh. too many cards angels what is the advice for sagittarius here okay Oh, Sagittarius. You know, the advice here in the long term, when this person comes back around, they might come back around within a month. You know, whatever. Like, it's going to be within the next few months kind of thing, you know? If if you're, you, if you this message finds you in the summer, it's going to be like any day now. If this message finds you in winter time, it's going to be by the time things are warm again. Maybe Leo season. Um... Sagittarius, you know, this person, you still have feelings for this person. You're going to be thinking about this person still. But the question you need to ask yourself, you know, is it worth still thinking about this person, the way that this person left the situation? This person wants to reconcile, but they're too much of a coward. So they're waiting for you. So it's like, you know, if you don't message, if you don't message, message them first, Sagittarius, this person won't message you because they're, they're going to try. They're going to think about it. They're going to keep thinking about it until the very end. And they won't. They won't. They'll walk away from it. And then they'll take a, their own sweet time coming back in. And it will take them a while. So, and by that time, you know, I see a lot of sixes here too. Six of swords could be six days, six weeks. By that time, like you will have moved on. You know what I mean? Like should you wait for this person this uncertainty pages are very mature energies this is an immature love 
is this only an illusion that you're seeing there? You know, the, the, there's a fish in this cup, but like, I mean, can you have a relationship with a fish? Is this fish communicating with you? It's like the, the fish is a dream. Fishes are dreams. Is this a dream? Is this an illusion? Or is this something real and tangible? Should you hold on? This is the advice. It's, it's questions for you because it's ultimately your choice, right? Sagittarius, should, should you hold on to this person, this dream, this talking fish inside a cup? Um, or should you just move on to something a little bit better? Is it better to just rip off the band-aid now? I see a lot of passion here uh, for you from this person. Let's see what other options you have. What other options Sagittarius have? I see passion for you. I see all of that. But this person effed up and they really like they're gonna f up in terms of fixing this but just bear in mind if this is only tarot these these things change and maybe this person will come in in the next month or so and they are gonna fix it who knows yeah five of wands oh yeah interesting ha 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 especially in this deck Sagittarius well something else is coming in in the next five hours five days or five weeks you could potentially meet someone who's going to really get you five of wands this is in this deck this five of wands this is someone who's going to really get you someone who's going to fight dragons for you or fight with you against you know the world it's going to be you against the world kind of thing could be a little bit of a uh, uh, mischievous connection too in the sense that it might be someone who kind of gets all your demons so you're going to be like bonnie and clyde kind of thing be careful it doesn't turn like toxic in that way because it's going to be very kind of potent and deep this is a potential you have if you want to meet people you know you have the potential to meet someone that gets you on another level it's going to be like bonnie and clyde ten of cups amazing happiness true love true love this person is going to look at you like you you are just like you are the best thing that ever happened to them um, yeah, they're not going to be messaging other people behind your back because they only want you. They're going to be looking you, looking at you the way you're looking here at that talking fish. <laughs> like you're a dream. I'm like, is this real? Is this real? Is Sagittarius real? Or is it a mirage? Because I can't believe it. Sagittarius is too perfect. A beautiful love is coming uh, towards you. That's an alternative to this person that we're reading for right now. But it's ultimately your choice, Sagittarius. And love is complicated. It's always a little, you know, I, I wish it was easier. I so wish it was easier, but it isn't. But you have such great energy here, Sagittarius, as well. So just cultivate your beauty. Cultivate your energy. Uh, someone amazing is coming in. So just, you know, you need to reflect on how much time you want to spend on pining for something that may be an illusion and how much time you want to spend on putting into yourself energy and love into yourself because other better things are coming in as well. Let me know in the comments below how this uh, resonated for you. Is this your story, Sagittarius? Take care of yourself. Uh, I love you. I'll see you next time. And may the angels protect you.